And welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime. Before we head out, I actually want to completely redo my ammo. Because this next tank battle is gonna be quiet, it's gonna be a bit different than usual. So, I'm gonna do all this manually. Okay, the first thing I want are shields. I made a Metal King's, uh, Metal King shield. That took a while. Alright, that should do, obviously, my swords. All of my bastard swords. A miracle sword should do. Uh, let's get two healing items. Two lightning staves. Uh, what else do I want? I definitely want the scythe. Let's see. Obviously that. I actually don't want to bring a cloaking device with me. Meteorite, an orca slime. Alright, and then let's fill up the rest. Uh, where are the good ammo do I have? Obviously all my missiles. How much do I have still? Six. Alright, obviously some steel balls should do. I actually don't want a slime knight this time for reasons. Uh, what else do I want? I'll bring a pepper with me, and I need two more things. I would bring a Vulcan gun, but I have a feeling I should bring some real ammo. Hmm. Well, what else is good? I'll bring a cruise missile, and I guess I'll fill the rest with swords. There we go. Alright, that should do for the last battle. Alright, now that that's done, it's about time we head out. Also, I, my crew is exactly the same as always. There's no point changing it now. Let's just head back to the Colantris and get to the bottom of this. Or top of this. Whatever. Also, we still have one more slime to save. Who is- Oh, that's right, we still haven't saved the princess, have we? We should probably go save her. I completely forgot she existed. Then again, they don't really characterize her, like, at all during the story. Except for, like, that one scene we saw earlier. Also, I'm just gonna ignore all of you guys, because we don't have to fight you right now. Alright. Let's do this. We're fully healed, even though we didn't take any damage. Time to go see the dawn. Again. Oh. It's a princess. Well, that was easy. And she just kind of walked out. You know, we could just leave right now and we've won. But say hello to the Don. Also, if you don't know what he's a reference to, you need to go see more movies. And yes, it's another pun. Anyways, time for our final battle. The Don is honestly kind of easy. Oh crap. Kind of easy. He has a few attacks. This is his main one. He basically summons some guys who shoot you. They're pretty easy to avoid. And then he shoots razor blades at you. Also pretty- oh, I actually got hit there. Also pretty easy to avoid. Basically all we have to do here is wait for them to stop firing, and then smack into him. Pretty simple. Also whenever he's not flashing, just hit him. He also has really long, uh, was invincibility frames. Ow. No, oh crap, I kinda got stuck there. We're fine. As long as we take this slow, he's not gonna kill us at all. Also, he has this attack. This attack is just annoying. Basically, as long as they're on you, you can't- you move really freaking slowly. And you can't charge up a blast. Fortunately, they can't actually damage you, like, at all. Oh, stop, get off me. They're more annoying than threatening. This, on the other hand, that is a lot of gun. Oh, he's still invincible. No, get off. Okay, we're good. But, of course, it couldn't stay that simple. Because now he's a dragon. I don't know why. But he's a dragon now. Basically, with this stage, you just want to wait for him to stop moving around and not stand in front of him. It's honestly that simple. 
You can also hit him when he's moving around, and his weak point is his head. Please stop moving. Thank you. So yeah, just basically stay to the side of him at all times, and he can't actually... Actually, no. I think he can hit you with one attack. Ow. I see as I get hit. Also, he's still not moving that quickly. Stop moving! Oh, nope, that's not the attack I was thinking of. But he should start using it soon. Nope, that's not it. Basically, his main attack is he's gonna sweep fire everywhere. And he still doesn't seem to want to use it. Oh wait, here it comes. Basically, just hover when he gets to you. Also, he's almost dead already. Well, that was easy. Yeah, we barely lost two hearts with that. Oh, that flute does not look good. Yeah, the princess isn't that bright. She just kinda, you know, no big deal, just kinda summoned the devil. Well then, this isn't good. Yeah, we might want to stop him. But now Slivel's on our side. Well, time to go f f face Lucifer. And now we have two tanks. Unfortunately, his tank is slightly better than ours in the fact that... It has a giant death laser and flies. And that we kind of need land to fight on. Oh, that didn't take long. And then the Dark Lord won and completely destroyed the world. The end. And of course our heroes kind of fell into the volcano. It's been a while since we've seen Mount Krakatoa. Sorry, Mount Krakatroda. Mount Krakatoa is a real volcano. Oh, we did plenty of alchemy this run through. So then, you know where this is going. What happens when you put two tanks into a giant alchemy pot? The answer? Wings! So yeah. Our tank is kind of... better now. Basically our tank just mega evolved. And now it's part dragon. And it looks really cool now. I actually really like the look of the tank. Also, I think it's called the Gotschleiman. I have no idea. I don't think they ever actually reveal the name of the tank. But yep! Time for the real final battle. Of course it would be a tank battle. Would you expect anything else? So yeah, and no matter what, you always have a thousand health with this tank. So then. Time for the final tank battle. Alright, so the thing is, our crew is actually not here. Our only crew is, uh, Slivel. But the thing is, Slivel is really freaking good. Compared to your other crew members. As in, he is really fast. And he's actually good. So then. The thing about this battle is, I actually want to stay here and fire like crazy. Simply because, uh... Yeah, the thing about his tank is... He doesn't actually have to fire it himself. It automatically fires. So even if we go over there and he doesn't have a crew, 
Even if we, you know, disable him, the tank will keep firing. So that's kind of a bad thing. So yeah, we're going to want to stay here and basically fire like crazy and hope for the best. Right now, we're not doing too badly. This is also why I actually packed healing items. Whoops, sorry. Get off my head. Get back to work. Because in this battle, he oh wait, we got a lightning rod over there? Healing items in this battle is actually really good. Also, he has special ammo. Like that giant drill he just shot at us. We don't want that on our tank. Basically, if that reaches us, it's just gonna keep doing damage, and it's gonna block our cannons. That would be bad. We do not want that. But yeah, this is basically a giant firing fest. Theoretically, if we let him reduce us to 0 HP, he'll stop firing. But of course, the problem with that is we'll be in danger of dying. So I'm not gonna do that. Oh yeah, we definitely don't want those drills over here. Too bad we can't get those for- well, actually we could get those for ourselves, technically. If we just, you know, use the mirror shield. Like that. Also, this is why I brought the pepper. In case things really go south. Also, he can fire energy balls at us. They work exactly like ammo. Nothing special. Okay! We got lightning rod over there. But yes, yeah, Slivel can pick things up really freaking fast. Uh, I don't really want this pepper to go to waste. I'm just gonna go- oh, never mind. We're using it. I am not letting any of that stuff come over. Get out of there. Yeah, three drills in a row would probably murder us. That being said, yeah, I'm not gonna fire anything until that pepper goes away. Here we go. Oh, nice! He shot a shield. Uh, is that going up or down? Up. Oh, that- oh, I missed. Whoops. Also, that, yeah, those energy balls hurt for quite a bit. And they set things on fire. That's not good. Also, I think we got another lightning rod in there. Well, all things considered, this battle's going better than expected. Yep, we got another lightning rod in there. I am perfectly okay with this. Yeah, my normal strategy is to let him just reduce us to 0 HP, and- Oh crap, no, he's doing it. Basically, when he starts calling you an eyesore, that means he's gonna launch the big attack. And there's absolutely no way to block it. What we want to do is basically fire everything we have right now, before that thing charges up and fires. Because once that thing hits, it's going to hurt. And we really can't block it, no matter what we do. In fact, I'm gonna start gathering healing items. Uh, where are all the Miracle Swords? Oh, it's about to go off. This is gonna hurt. Oh! Did we interrupt it? Oh, nice! Normally I can't ever do enough damage to interrupt that thing. Huh. Oh crap, we don't have anything to block these drills with yet, though. Actually, never mind. We got them. But yeah, if that thing goes off, it'll pretty much take out, like, a quarter of my health easily. I'm not really sure the exact number on that one, but suffice it to say, it hurts. A lot. Holy crap, we might be able to actually do this without dying. Although those drills aren't gonna help, and I don't think Slivel shot out the top cannon. Nope. Oh, well. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's the one problem with the pepper. Your allies don't exactly know how to use it properly. Also, can I find another level 2 missile? Uh-oh. Meteorite's incoming. Oh, that hurt. But then again, we are doing a lot better than he is right now. Although, for how much longer, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop firing anytime soon. Uh, did you get the shield? No, you didn't. Although, I have two shields now for some reason. Issue one off the top and one the bottom. You don't let Slivel handle the rest of the ammo in there. Well, I go down here and get even more ammo. Why do you have a broadsword? I have a lot of bastard swords, though. Oh crap, he actually knocked my uh, king metal king shield out of the air. That's kind of impressive. Those things can take quite a beating. 
But yeah, there's no point in actually infiltrating his tank right now. Even if we destroy stuff, he'll still keep firing no matter what we do. Oh god, we've come too close. Oh no, it's... Oh uh, crap, it made it. Yeah... That drill's not a good thing. Oh god, no, get out, I need it. And while it's there, we can't fire. Oh. This isn't good. But we do have healing items. It's gonna be close. Even though we can keep fighting even when he... Oh no, he's doing it. I'm not gonna let you take this pepper. This isn't going to be good. If he gets that thing off, we're pretty much doomed. Actually, I think we... Yep, we hit 0 HP, but we're still okay. At this point, he's going to try to come over and destroy our engine. But, the thing is, he is actually more concerned with... Uh, what is it? He's more... Oh, crap, he's in the tank. I'm going to go get him. He's more concerned with killing us than our engines. Crap, 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 crap. Where is he? No! Get him out! Get out! Yeah, as long as we're in the room with him, he'll be more concerned with killing us. Oh, that hurt. No! It's okay. We got this. We can't let him into the engine room. So we'll get back to firing. I can handle him. I really don't trust Slivel to handle him by himself. Yeah, this is definitely one of the harder battles. Why are you on my head? Get off my head. I don't really care about that lightning rod right now. All I care about is Slivel getting up there and firing again. We need to kill him. Like, now. It's okay. Okay, he's good. We're good. But yeah, as long as you're in the same area as him, he'll target you instead of going for the engine. But that being said, we're really close to killing him off. And now that we have zero HP, he won't actually fire at us anymore. Whoops, sorry about that. Get off my head. Also, I'm gonna go wait outside to make sure he doesn't get in. Where is he? I kind of wish I brought a slime right now. No, where are you going? No, you're not allowed inside my tank. We're gonna finish this right here. On my porch. Maybe we should have fought this inside the tank. But it doesn't matter. He's about to hit 0 HP. So once I beat him, I'm going to make a beeline straight for his tank. Actually, Slimo might do it for us. Oh, no. He's more concerned with killing him. Is he dead yet? No, he's not dead yet. Come on. Once he's done, we're good. Let's go. Time for the final charge, and hope that we get there before he gets to our tank. Then again, now that he's in, we're in his tank, which looks really freaking cool, by the way. We just need, need to find his engine room. Uh, is it over here? Yes, it is. So let's do this. Just distract him for us. As long as we can get to his engine, we should be fine. Oh, crap, there he is. We're okay. We have plenty of health. Honestly, by this point... Uh-oh. Honestly, by this point, we've won. Also, is Slimble dead? No, he's still around. There he is. Alright, he should keep... Oh, crap. We're good. Ow. Oh, cr oh, I thought he destroyed his own engine for us. Nope. Unfortunately, enemies can't do uh, friendly fire with their tanks. But it doesn't matter. We're here. Time to end this. Holy crap! Yeah, I really like that battle, by the way. And with that, Lucifer is dead. Again. Yeah, it is got Slimin. Shame we can't keep that tank. I really like the look of that tank. I think it's more of an airship than a tank. Oh, They did make sequels to this game, but never released them in America.
Oh, I just got mail. <laughs> Okay. Well then. This got weird really quickly. So yeah, his entire plan was to get a girl. So technically all of that summoning loose for stuff was kind of the princess's fault. He would have never been summoned if it wasn't for her. Great job, princess. You know, we could just tell them that she got lost in the battle. But with that, we've rescued all 100 slimes. Of course, we didn't get anything for it, but it's the thought that counts. But anyways, next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Heroes Rocket Slime, you'll find out later, because we're not done yet. We still have an ending to watch. Alright, we'll talk to everyone later. Right now, also we unlocked a new area. Which he won't tell us about because it's the ending sequence. Let's just go see the king. Honestly, no one actually has anything to say. Other than, yay, good job. Well then, your majesty. Actually, wait, is the dick still there? The dick is still there. Good. Yes, we have. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of stuff in the post game. You're not allowed to talk anymore, princess. And with that, the game is technically over. There's still post-game stuff. There's still plenty of post-game stuff, actually, which we'll do next time. But for now, that was a fun little game. And let's watch the credits roll. Also, yeah, Kira Toriyama. Same guy who did Dragon Ball. Because he always does all, does all the art for the Dragon Quest games. Oh, I remember that tank. But yeah, what can you say about this game? It was fun, actually. It was actually, it's actually a pretty fun game. It's kind of horribly unbalanced at times. But still, fun little, little game. They made two sequels, I think. But neither one of them came out in America, so yeah, that doesn't really matter. As for the rest of this LP, I think I'm going to do like another episode of post-game stuff. There is one thing we haven't done. It's the uh, tank arena, which you saw with the giant cannon in the left. And we unlocked a new area we'll look at later. But for now, all of these people worked on the game. Also, they still won't stop with the stupid puns. I have no idea what, have, what these people actually did. Is that a graph? Okay, those are assistants, I think? And obviously, yeah, slimes are the mascot for Dragon Quest. Okay, that's the programmer, that's pretty obvious. Also, I forgot about half these tanks. Shame they don't have more tanks with actual special abilities. They have a couple. I'll point them out if we ever see them. Uh, did he have anything? No, I don't think so. Oh god, those- the puns later need to be shot. So many puns. In fact, this entire credit sequence is technically, or technically nothing but giant slime references and puns. Let's see. And yeah, credit sequence are all cure slime. We never saw. No, wait, no, we saw plenty of cures. I don't remember that tank, like at all. I don't think we saw that during the main story. This, the uh, snail one. 
Uh, pretty sure we didn't see that during the main story. Yeah, there are a lot more other tanks that we haven't seen. Also, I like how Huli's wielding a miracle sword. I wish you could use the, the actual weapons in, the, weapons in this game. We definitely saw that one. Oh god, those drills. But yeah, it's a shame you can't actually use weapons in this game. That would be, make things a bit more interesting. Yeah, we've seen these tanks before. And the credits keep going. Yeah, the credits are always the most annoying part in every LP. Just cause that's a lot of work outcome. Can, can we stop the tank? I kinda wanna go rob them. All that orc outcome. Uh, what is that? Oh, here she- Oh, that tank. Also, who's hovering next to us? Oh wait, that's a crack crackpot. Also, we hit the special things. That means they should be- Oh, no, never mind. The T-Rex tank. I remember him. That axe was annoying, but not too hard to deal with. I never realized how many tanks there were in the game. Didn't we already see you? Oh wait, no, we saw a recoloring of you. Oh, he's alive! He probably still doesn't have a crew, so we can still kick his ass real easily, but... And we have the final tank of the game. And no, that is not all. But until next time.